Planet Tours. Welcome back to the Houston Zoo. So I did do footage for a speed build for this episode. Um, however, the NVIDIA screen record has decided it doesn't want to cooperate. So we have some somatics today, just various habitats throughout the zoo that have been done. So we have the elephants right here and then next we'll have our little okapi or okapi and then we have our cougars and all their rock in their habitat. That one's down here I think sleeping. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a zoo tour after the cinematics here. We have the Worthing World of Primates and this was built by Zoof and I edited it to fit. It's the orangutans. And over here is where I did the speed build, which is the lemurs. I finished off the red rough lemurs on the other side right here, which wasn't much. It was really just copy paste um, for the most part. And over here we have uh, the wonderful BZ and his habitat for the gorillas and the chimpanzees off to the far end of the zoo. We haven't quite built all the way over there yet. So let's get started with our zoo tour. So as we walk through here, I may have to start um, limiting guests. Look at all of the people. The people, you can't see all the builds here. Anyway, over here is our McCall Cafe and an info center. And then inside of there is the aquarium. However, I do believe once they open the Galapagos Islands, that's going to be very different. So I'm just leaving that side alone for right now. So we're going to go over here. We're going to check out the sea lions today. Usually when I do a little zoo tour, I kind of walk different routes. So I don't always show the same habitat, but we'll go ahead and let's sneak in here. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, we have a, a seal walking on water. How fun. <laughs> That's a super interesting. There he goes. He's on his jetty. Now, excuse me, person. Um, as much as I want to see inside your head, I really don't. So there we go. There's the sea lion and they are really happy in here. I do still need to add in the new uh, stadium seating for the seals and hopefully we can get that looking amazing. I'm gonna do that eventually. I'm not sure when. And then over here, we do have capuchin monkeys on the outside of the natural encounter building. We won't go in there today. Last time I went in, it was packed full of people. So we'll just go the other direction, but there is the natural encounters building. And on the outside of that, we do have the uh, black footed prairie dogs. I, uh, I did change them out. So there's no longer meerkats right there. There's prairie dogs. So eventually we'll put the meerkats back in. They're in a different habitat further away from this. And then over here we have our walk to the reptile house and we'll go ahead and, oh, hey, we'll take a peek. We well, need to get rid of that uh, angry archer that's hanging out right there. That's kind of funny. Uh, hello. And this is um, a huge snake enclosure right when you walk in. I still haven't made the implied snake that lives in there, but that's the reptile house. And as we go this way, um, it's just mostly it's a walk with plants until you get to, I put in, um, I believe now monitors, but I think there's actually a different uh, animal here. I think it's the Komodo dragon maybe. Um, I forget, but I picked the wrong one. But that's okay. And um, we still have our crazy uh, prey sack going on over there. And then as you come out up there, you do have your nice wooded walk around that way, which takes you to the elephants. And then as you go this direction, it's kind of a crossway from one side to the other. Off to the right, we do have the uh, reflection pool walk through. And then you can go down there. It takes you back to the front of the zoo towards the sea lions. And then to the left, we will have the uh, Worthing World of Primates, which is where we're gonna head in just a moment. 
and then we have let's see yeah we'll just skip over there and we're gonna head over to the orangutans which was built by Zoof and I edited this a little bit to fit it into the space it needed to be in so we're gonna head this direction I did make a couple of little signs as you come in and um, they give you some information about lemurs and uh, where you're headed and then we have the first lemur exhibit right here i love how the guests are looking through the wall that's amazing um i don't see one over here right now uh, let's see let's look a little closer i see one way back there let's see if we can catch one actually using oh there's one uh, the climbing structure he's coming down kind of in the back there he is in the middle underneath just a little bit mm -hmm. so cute and then this is actually a two-sided habitat and um, in Houston Zoo they have I think tamarins is what they're called and other small primates in this little walk through here right in the beginning and they actually have a bunch of names and things on these plaques so eventually i'm going to come back and add a couple of things to that so it's not just green it actually is a sign and um, this is the other side of the red rough lemurs habitat um so it's kind of designed to look like it's a separate habitat um but really it's just the same animal since i don't have all the primates um in the game that the houston zoo has in this primate walkthrough and then if we go this direction i pretty much just copied that um cage structure over to this side and that's why i said with the speed build really it was just a lot of copy and paste so anyway um lost footage is lost footage so we put over here or i did anyway the new one from the anniversary weekend and there they go um that's the black and white um blah, blah. <laughs> anyway the, the black and white lemur um i can't talk today or ever we know this but they look super cute in here and i was super happy um that they climb around real nice inside of this habitat and so um i'm going to next episode i'm going to add in some more education about the gleamers um in front of their habitat cages and then we're gonna add in a couple more habitats excuse me person uh, into this area so we're gonna take a little look over there in just a minute they're so cute i love watching them just jump around inside these habitats it's so nice to watch them use little things that you build for them um that climbing structure i built um, but the ones inside i just used an end game one and added to it i just duplicated to make kind of like a bedding sleeping rack for them so over here we are going to put in the proboscis monkey um the monkey that is here has a nice water feature so i figured that would be a good place to use the proboscis monkey and then right here i'm not sure what i'm going to put um but my guess is some levers or more uh, capuchin monkeys that particular habitat had about three different types of monkeys and then over here is an elevated uh, walk um, as you walk over you know a decked area kind of like it's swampy maybe or just so wooded you know you have the elevated deck um, it's a popular thing in texas wildlife areas to kind of elevate a little dock like deck through an area to walk through and so all of those are platforms for viewing uh, right here they do have a connection out to the other side but it's blocked off they don't want you going through there and then on this side you do have um, some more views into those habitats and oh looks like they're looking for a restroom i may need to sneak one in over here and then this habitat that's blocked off is the babarusa I just put it in for their placement to hide it so that's the next few episodes is filling in this space i hope you guys have a great sunday 
Sorry I missed the speed build. So to keep up with you Sun Tzu, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and may the RNG odds be ever in your favor.